In this video, I would like to talk about GitHub releases as a way to share data, even if it is in private repositories, in a way that is very convenient in data science, because sometimes, or actually pretty commonly, we use and develop software to generate data that will change when the software changes, right? So it's very important to keep the data and the software very tightly linked to each other. So if we share the software, say, on GitHub repositories, but then the artifacts of that software are shared in a different way, say, you know, Google Drive, Dropbox, email, whatever, then it's very easy for those two things to fall out of sync. And it's very hard for people to know which was the software that was used to generate a specific piece of data. So GitHub releases solves that problem by allowing you to attach uh, assets, as they are called, uh, basically files uh, to a GitHub release of a specific piece of software. So uh, the documentation on github.com um, is, is pretty good. So here is where you want to come to learn a little bit more, but I'm going to just show you how I use them in this particular uh, use case. So here is one repository. Uh, we are looking at one specific version of um, software that, uh, you know, was used to uh, generate some data uh, and in the release uh, you can write some notes uh, with absolutely whatever you want but I think for this specific use case um, it was important to document the input that I used uh, that was the input to uh, the software and then the output um, and also link to or at least say where people can find them so the input uh, and the output both I attached as assets to this specific release. So I'm gonna down, uh, go scroll down a little bit more. Uh, the code by default will come attached to any release, but then these assets here, input and output, are things that I added intentionally to make sure that people could reproduce, um, you know, could access those um, data, uh, which are um, what, what the people in, in my team typically care about, uh, while making sure that we know exactly which software was used for that. So, um, you can click on any asset, say output.zip, uh, and, and that will start kind of downloading. You see that here at the, at the top right of my screen. But for example, uh, if you're working on a remote server, that is uh, typically a little bit inconvenient because you could download that into your local computer and then you have to somehow make it appear inside the server, which you know typically means moving that, um, that file to some kind of directory mounted into your server. So uh, to solve that problem, or if you actually do enjoy working on the terminal like I do, then you can use a tool that comes very, um, uh, very handy when working with uh, GitHub, which is the GH for GitHub command line interface. So the GH CLI. So now what we want is the command release, and in particular, in particular the release download subcommand. Uh, I'm going to be using the minus p flag uh, to match the pattern output.zip which is the specific piece of data that I want to download from a uh, server. So I'm going to be working from this terminal. As you can see, it's uh, running on a local host, but it's still you know, a re remote computer compared to the, the local environment. To my lap it's not my laptop, but it's a server running inside my laptop. So um, I'm, I'm working on the downloads directory of this little server. And what I want to use is the gh command. Uh, the gh sorry gli with a release command and the download uh, subcommand and now we have to say which is the specific um, release that we want to work with so here is the uh, 9003 and if um, you know you want to match if you say nothing you would try download every asset but you can you know use the minus p for pattern to match a flag to match in this case output.zip which is the file that i want to download and uh, if you are not working from inside, so if, if this terminal is not working from the, the working directory of the repo from which you want to download a release, then you have to use the minus R flag for uh, repository. So here uh, I need to specify it with uh, uh, the full specification uh, where I say the owner, which is this organization to be investing, and the repository, which is here the output. Um, and that will do. So that will, you know, now it's going to fail because if, you, if I do an LS, you know, it will show that the release, um, the data set has been downloaded already, but I could remove it with um, output zip 
um, I will remove that thing. Uh, so now I can I can download it again. And while, while it downloads, I'm gonna open a new terminal and show you uh, the contents of the other. Uh, sorry, we need to jump into downloads and now uh, see inside the output directory. So you see there is just CSV files that are compressed into that directory. So from now, uh, if for example, we are using an R, then you could read uh, each of those CSV files with, you know, read R um, package uh, or, you know, can read it however you like. Okay, so there you go. This is the, uh, C, uh, the GH CLI. Um, I'm working here with the release command, the subcommand download to get a, a piece of data that was attached to a release, uh, to a GitHub release. So if you want to learn more, you may want to read the documentation of uh, the GH CLI uh, or uh, more generally to read about releases on GitHub.